not something I I will in the future. Uh, not a fan. I'm not. I don't like hardballed eggs. That's really, it. I don't like them. And I went, I went to Salt and Smoke and got, oh, a platter of their deviled eggs on the pimento cheese. Yes. I mean, I went all in to try to convince this family that deviled eggs are where it's at. I got one. I think I converted the, the girl. You yeah. converted the girl. <laughs> you know what? If one life was saved, did anybody else? I because I had one. Some I know my them. wife had a couple. Yeah, people were eating them, but I was like, I was kind of hoping that uh, oh, I'd look be, over and the tray would just be empty, be and I could just plate. be like, yeah, I could you leave brought, my cane in the corner like Miracle at 34. So Street. many. Like, you showed up, you needed a, a, like a hand truck, like, yeah. hey, can somebody help me in the car <laughs> with awesome. all the deviled eggs? Rafe, did you feel like you were going to, right like, there. your girlfriend's, you're meeting your girlfriend's family for the first time? <laughs> because, like, in my head, that's what I imagined yes. it felt like. Yeah, a little bit, I okay. guess. I did hold Riz's hand under the table where no one could see. Everybody was pleasant. Everyone was great. Everybody was great. I had a great time. Like, I don't... I think he was more stressed out than, than I was. I just wanted Rafe to have a good time. He did. That's it. And I and, did. And I hope, I, I, you know, I, every once in a while I'd look over and they were smiling and laughing. Chris. Good. We, we were chopping it up. Yeah, my brother-in-law and his, his family, you know, my father-in-law and mother-in-law were there. You know, my family, obviously. Yeah. We had a big, giant, long table, and you know, put all the, all the you know, the turkey and all the trimmings. There were a lot of trimmings. Yeah, and I didn't feel like a guest. I, I felt just like a part of the family. It didn't feel weird at all. It felt fun. Best compliment somebody could give. I really did. I got your wife put me to work immediately. I was like, hey, go help my brother move this table, and I'm like, this is what I like. Don't, yeah. I don't want to be sitting on the couch being treated like I'm this like outsider who. You, I got mad that your your father in law went and put on pants, because then your <laughs> wife was like, he only took his sweatpants off because you're here. And yeah, like, Michael, go put them on, dude. <laughs> what are Michael. you doing? I don't want you busting got out some, of here. Got some deviled <laughs> eggs to <laughs> stretch those Michael, pants out with. Listen, I brought stretchers. I'll take my pants off if it makes you feel better. <laughs> mm. <laughs> well, honey, said in a, in, a, in a thick Russian accent, you know, this is a holiday. Can't have sweatpants on for a holiday. Did you wear sweatpants? No. So, because I know it was just you and your, you know, your wife and kids, and that's that. Did your mom come over and? and, and yeah, my parents, father? my brother, my uh, my oldest okay, daughters. So they all brought their families. Like it was. Okay, so it you was had a big the thing. The freaking greatest. It was the best. No stress. No yelling. No, no screaming. Man. No, dude. No, it was it was great. It was nice because we also weren't responsible for the food, so we knew it was going to be great. We we got Super Smokers catering, mm. and they. It's like the fourth time we've done that, and that is the win. That is the win for us, so it, it took all the pressure off. You know, uh, my wife made like a, I don't know, a side or two, and other than that, like, we just we just chilled. It mm. was great. Great. He had stellar hogs, right? Yeah, they did the turkey, which was great. Smoked turkey was great. And I, you know, we made the sides. I made a lot of the sides the day before and just put them in the oven and eat up. Yeah, we got we got some sides from Super Smokers and then she made a, a green bean casserole because that's my favorite. And then we had a uh, and then we had Thanksgiving on Saturday at uh, at her parents' place with her family and it was freaking sweet too, man. It's college football. Was watching it the Alabama. same food? Oh no no no! It was all it was all um, my my father in law and mother in laws and it no, was I mean I mean so incredible food as well. Turkey. Oh, yeah, yeah. Stuffing. Same stuff. It was th Thanksgiving. So it's just so, so the th same Thanksgiving meal. Um, no, the sides were different, and they were different enough where it felt like I was like two separate doing meals. something completely different. Yeah, it was three days apart, you know? Yeah, usually if you do, you know, we're doing multiple Thanksgivings or a Friendsgiving and a regular Thanksgiving, it's the same freaking food. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but, but, the, but enough these, are all the thing, turkey. these are all things that are great. And my father-in-law's turkey and the Super Smoker's turkey, I have never had... Two better turkeys back to back like that. I I, it was it was the greatest. We're done with turkey until next year. I had turkey. Uh, I'm turkeyed out. I had turkey, turkey, and then Nikki Glazer posted about what our turkeys look like before we eat them, like get, getting to the butcher. And oh, thanks for the and guilt. And then I ruined. And I was like, well, not having. Boy, she must be very fun to be around during the holidays. <laughs> Guys, I was so hungover on Thanksgiving from Skanksgiving that like my mother was. She was impressed. I rallied, but I was a mess. In fact, I didn't get over my hangover from Wednesday. Until Saturday. Well, you had big plans <laughs> on Wednesday. Holy crud, dude. It was bad. You were we, big, huh? Well, I, like, 
not trying to bring you down or get too serious. Was yeah. it worth it? Like, I mean, no, it wasn't. Oh, really? When, when you were texting, oh, dude. I felt so bad. I was like, I don't even know what to say because I, I just feel like that's got to be the worst. I, and I don't even know what happened. Like, I we went to Waterloo to see Days of Confused STL, which were excellent. I started ordering tall drinks of vodka, like vodka tonic with lime, which I idiot. I'm like, oh, these are double shots. So I was like. I was really hit, hitting it, and we're like, let's do well, lemon let's drops. Start with, let's start with, okay, we were all at work on Wednesday. We were uh -huh. discussing your Skanksgiving plans. Yes. You were all excited, gung-ho. Oh. Yeah. We mm -hmm. got out of here fairly early on Wednesday. Yeah. Like, I think we're all in our cars by like 11, 15, 11, 30. I went home. I, I picked up Soltaco with Tim. That was the plan? Napped. Nap. Took a great nap. Got dressed. Cute. What time were you at your mother's? Uh, we got there. We had to get there a little early, so we got there at 6.30. Picked them up. My mom goes, I don't want to take the bus. Oh, you didn't take the bus? No. Oh. She's like, it's too cold for the bus. I was really mad. He goes, her mom's got like a micro bus. Yeah, she's got a VW bus. And then so I go, okay. And then they go, Tim, Tim will drive. Tim will drive. So now Tim is the designated driver because Jerry <laughs> can't see at night. Oh, God. So we get in Tim's Mazda. He's in hell already. All right. And my family's so loud. Everybody squeezes into the Mazda. Everybody's in the Mazda. Down Route 3 we go. He has no idea where he's going. So now he's got... His father-in-law telling him where to go. Freaking nightmare. Okay? Tim, hey, that's the... Telling him where to go? We have Waze now. Yeah. Tim didn't know. He's like, what is this place called? So now... So does Jerry know better than Waze? No. No. But does Jerry think he knows better than yes. Waze? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I actually yeah. downloaded Jerry onto my phone this yeah. weekend. Jerry... Uh, you know, Jerry it just says, take a right by where the old Dairy Queen used to be. I'm like, Jerry, I don't know where that is. Where is that, Jerry? <laughs> they you tore it down in 77. You could have customized voices, so Jerry could do the turn left. That would be turn awesome. right. So Jerry's half paying attention, telling Tim where to go. The ladies are in the back, okay? My mom, my sister's in the middle, and me. We're all loud as hell, okay? We're the loudest people you know. We get into so you Waterloo. you got the three hens in the back seat. Oh. And Jerry, they and wanted... Tim up, Jerry and Tim up front. <laughs> no pre-party, no pre so this is all sober this, loud. This is all sober family. This is Bauer Power Hour sober edition. Yeah, this okay. is the ride there, so imagine the ride home. Oh, my God. How long is the ride from your mom's to... To Waterloo? Waterloo. It's like 15 minutes, okay. if that. Probably the longest 15 minutes in Tim's life. Yeah. Mm, poor guy. So we get there. We park. You know, Tim is ready to leave already. Mm -hmm. I Then we get there. We were supposed to have a table reserved for us. Somebody stole our table. Oh, and we had fighting actions. We had video footage of where our table was. The band gave us a table and said, reserved for learn from the Rizzuto show. Video footage. Yes. I've deleted the text since. But it's a video of, hey, you're going to be sitting here. And he took a video of, like, the sign. Here's the, your seat. These bitches that oh, stole our table. Man. Yeah. I, starting the night off right. And I go, it's the holidays. I can't get confrontational. You didn't say, excuse me, this is my, I happen to be learned from the Riz Show. I, ha I had my career in the back of my mind. I had my family there. It's the holidays. I didn't want to ruin it for anybody. And I'm like, I can't. Just so you know, if you would have fought mm -hmm. them. Yeah. That would have been awesome. It would have been awesome, and you probably would have gotten a raise. Damn it. Next time. <laughs> anyway, there's one table with a reserve sign on it now that's open. One table. And I go, do we do this? Do we steal? Is this trickle down economics? Table. And everybody's mm -hmm. stealing. So then, of course, I'm a freaking mess. I'm like, give me a drink. Find out that table is reserved for the band sound guy. They just need one seat. They said, take it. You oh, got good. Seat. Okay, so it worked out. Yeah, so it worked out. Worked out. So we are sitting there with the sound guy. I'm chugging vodka drinks like there's no tomorrow. I'm happy Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing a bunch of people I know from high school, lots of listeners of the show. In fact, I had a first time experience where I went to the restroom and there was like a crowd of dudes outside and I could hear everything they were saying. They're like, you that is like while I was mm -hmm. peeing. And so that was fun. And then I just start down in these vodka drinks and dancing and they wanted me to get up Band and sing. Band was great. Did you get up and sing? No. Oh. <laughs> No, oh, right boo. <laughs> you were that gone, huh? Oh, yeah. And I go, no, 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 no. You're past the point of performance art? Yep. It would have been really Oh, Oh, so, because usually you get some liquid courage. Like, mm -hmm. if I got a couple of drinks in me, you want me to go up and sing? <laughs> you bet. No, I... But I, you you flew past that point to the to the, to the the stage fright. I No, I flew stage. past that point to my mother going, hitting no, no. me on the back. It's time to go. It's uh, time to go. okay. We want to get out were of here. It's sloppy? time to go. I, I was just... Having a great time, and then they they weren't. There was like a certain point that where they're like, we're not having a good time anymore. <laughs> and I was like, what? I would have stayed out all night, um, but luckily got taken back home. And then the loud ride home uh, was before we get to the ride home. Can you guys? Believe
Can me I, took our table. I don't know what time. <laughs> so what time did you get to there? We got there around like a little bit before seven. Uh, Tim, what time around, did you guys I got leave? Some ass to beat. Um, probably like nine thirty. Whoa, 10 two oh. and a half hours. Damn, but man, really work. Really good. Yeah. Did you pregame? No. Wow. Whoa, you. We had food. My I man. Had a big old thing of nacho. I was in heaven, man. I was in heaven. Nachos. Classic rock. Classic rock. They're playing UFO covers. No band in St. Louis does that. Oh. Um, you know, I so I I was in my zone. Like and again, it was all love. Like I didn't see. I saw people I haven't seen in twenty years. It was a real coming home for Thanksgiving. It was how big cool. were the drinks? They were doubles. They were, yeah, they're a little. You know, like a normal pint, I guess. How many did you have? I had like four. Two. And you're a tiny person. I had like fourteen. <laughs> and I had a shot. No big deal. You said lemon drops plural earlier, though. Yes, yeah, so lemon drops. That sounds like more than one shot. I'm just <clears throat> to me lemon that drops. Like more than one. I stayed in the lane of vodka though, which I think was yeah, yeah. in my favor. But man, smart. Yeah, got home. Um, room spinning. Room spin. All oh, right. Damn. You went all in, Lady Lee Roth. Lady Lee Roth came out, and then I had to rally because you know. It was, Whoa! <laughs> it was just my. <laughs> Sister, my mom, Jerry, and Tim and I. That's her in the car on the way home. So if one of us was down, it was not going to be fun. So I had to rally, and I did. You have to stick your hand out the window on the way home? No. Tim drove y'all home? Uh-huh. Do you remember him speaking? He d Well, he doesn't talk normally around my family anyway, because okay. we're all insane. Yeah, because I, I, I have a visual of him just going, mm -hmm. <laughs> just holding my the wheel, sister, totally silent. My sister, you know, she's gripping it very hard. <laughs> yeah, like with this. both <laughs> 10 and 2, and his, his arms are shaking. I think that's the greatest visual, dude. My sister's Stern yelling at my bent. stepdad about he doesn't <laughs> use reusable bags and how that's killing the plant. So we got like in all sorts of political talk on the way home and Oh man. It was just Oh boy. It was wild, man. That sounds fun. Did you have to have a uh like uh like a bucket next to the bed just in case? No, there's this is my old like my sister's her room is now what my room used to be and I'm in her old room and like there's a bathroom right there. So it was All right. It was all good. Did you use it? I did. Not to vom or anything. Oh, oh. Right. other things happened. It was just what other nachos happen? No, it's we don't need to talk. Oh, she blew out. Oh, 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 man. Oh, oh, she did a pre-Thanksgiving oh, blowout. Oh, leaky uh, belly. If you drink enough vodka, no. you know what I'm talking about. No. Oh. No. Uh, no, I don't. Sure yeah, I don't, don't want to know. It. She blew an O-ring, dude. <laughs> She's like the ch space shuttle Challenger. She blew an O-ring. Anyway, a disaster. Yeah. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. I want to know. I want to back up the turnip truck a little bit here, and I want a description of the table stealers. We kind of glazed over that. Who had yeah. the audacity to come to in? To ignore a sign. Was the sign still there? The busiest no, they, night they of the of year, and knock your sign off of the table. Right. Probably wipe their butt with it too. Take your no. No. They were boomers, dude. They were boomers. That's what I wanted to know. They were I? Because in my mind, it was young girls. Uh -uh. Yeah, I thought so. No, and and they're so, and we like. We literally held the video up to see the angle, and we're like, that's the table. That's it. Mm. And it was uh, a couple of couples had to be in their, you know, 50s or 60s. Oh, uh, okay. And it was like, what am I going to do? And my mom was really pissed. Yeah. And she was, like, ready to. Th I'm like, this is ready to throw down. That's who I would have mm. sent. Yeah. She did the glare. She kept glaring at them all night, like, every time she walked by. <laughs> you know, and thank goodness it worked out. But then it was like. We don't want to screw other people out of a table. You do that to somebody, and then it messes with everything. And how often do you get a table yeah, reserved that's anywhere? Their, that's on them. That's their you know, problem. Mm -hmm. I, you know, I needed your wife with me or something. Like, I, I would have said, like, oh. I guess we're ignoring signs now. <laughs> that would have solved the problem. Would not, that aggression would not have stood with your I know. wife. No I know. It, it wouldn't have stood with me either. The holiday spirit It should got not in. stand. It should not stand with anybody. I know. Was it a pa was it a packed, packed house? Packed, dude. Packed. If you got a table, you were lucky. And we were there early. Like they didn't go on until I think 7:30. So we were like 30, 40 minutes early. Mm. You know, and he told us he was like, get there. Dustin Brown was yeah. like, get there a little early. Um, packed. It was awesome. Man. And then what times you wind up getting up on Thanksgiving morning? I got up pretty early. I got up at like seven. Just feeling like crap. Oh, I felt like dog crap, yeah. Have so a couple glasses of water. I did. I had a lot of water. But the, you know, but then it lasts. Advil. And you think, oh, I'm gonna eat. But and then, then, there goes, right. then there goes the whole weekend. There goes your Black Friday plans. There goes your Saturday. Oh, I still did whatever's. everything though. Just well, but you just toughed it. it out, huh? Yeah, Ooh, I put my like Christmas garbage. decorations up on Friday. You know, I did everything. Oh, you did. Okay, so you did all the things you set out to do. I just, yeah, I could. I felt like crap. No, we ate at our house. Uh, Rafe brought a bunch of pies with him too. 
Nice. Yeah, I brought a bunch of pies. Four pies. Four pies and 50 deviled eggs. I didn't come. <laughs> I came Dude. like, I, I brought the gifts like all three wise men, okay? I came fully loaded. So you brought a uh, lemon pie, which was terrific, which I it had. was the, really good. The uh, peanut butter. Peanut butter peanut, silk. Peanut butter silk pie. <laughs> what else was there? Pumpkin. Pumpkin pie. Mm. Pecan. Pecan pie. Nice, man. All those pies, by the way, are gone. Three P's and an L. All, they were all eaten. Good. That's awesome. That's good. Then I said, those are, the four, those are the four pillars. We had an apple pie. Nobody touched it. Hmm. Ooh, I thought that was uh, the favorite. Nobody touched it. Well, with such a variety of pies. It made me feel better about the eggs. It really did. Like watching everyone at, at dessert, like watching all the nephews cut little slivers of pie and had shared joy with each other and yeah. all the kids. And try all the pies. Like, Even, I'm going to take a piece of each pie. That's yes, awesome. watching your daughter be like, I've never had pumpkin. I've never had pecan. And like, just even though she didn't like pumpkin, like, she liked her the pecan pie. stuff, she liked pecan. Uh, it was, I was like, okay, I feel redeemed. I yeah. felt redeemed in that moment. And then at one point, I said, hey, clap my hands. Let's go to the casino. Yes. All right. And we did. <clears throat> and we did. Yeah. How'd you do? Well, so myself, my wife, my brother-in-law uh, hopped in a car. Rafe met us over there. Oh, you went too? Wow. Yeah, we went to Ameristar. Well, I went. Well, I was like, which one do we go to? Do we go to Hollywood? Do we go to Ameristar? Uh, literally equidistance. Which one has the loosest slots? They all are loose. Oh, okay. <laughs> Lots of loose slots. Wow. Yeah. They're all loose. Equidistant to you? Yeah. Pretty close. St. Yeah. Charles. One's or... like 32 minutes, one's 31 minutes. Mm, interesting. Was it packed or? Packed. Really? Packed. <laughs> People wanted wild. to wait for their families, dude. Yeah. Parties, man. This is a party weekend. Yeah. Don't packed. Have night. I had to talk to a pit boss, and I was like, hey, would you open us up a table? And then she was like, hey, this table over here is going to open in 10 minutes if you go squat. Yeah, that's what we did. That's what we did. So we squatted as a family. And then <laughs> uh, got a nice blackjack table. Got Fun a, yeah. guy. He had a great dealer. He was a cool dude. Boy, I tell you what. They brought I a forgot in. you could smoke in there. Because mm. oh. everybody, was, everybody <laughs> was smoking cigarettes. As soon as you walk in, it smells like the 70s. Yeah. You just go, oh, yeah. Oh, and they try to. And they try Time to. Time machine. They try to cover it up. Like yeah, what, whatever deodorizer is disgusting. It's in the yeah. carpet, man. It's it's in that thin, it don't matter how thin that carpet is. Uh, and the, it's holding smoke, the smoke for decades. Was so thick. Like you could like you have to like as if you're going through a jungle, like going through <laughs> vines. <Yeah. laughs> like, like, oh god. There's howler monkeys in the background. <laughs> like going through the smoke. So you could smoke on the on the ground floor. Yeah. And then the second level, which I guess more slot machines in the poker room, uh, is non smoking. But what what does smoke do? It goes up. Mm-hmm. Oh, I thought it was the opposite. It was ground floor. Ground floor smoking. Oh, okay. Top floor. That's no why it was so thick. I, your, the, your wife told me it was upstairs was smoking, and I was like, well, at least it's up there, but you can still smell it. I mean, it was open. Oh, it was even thicker upstairs because all the smoke from everybody downstairs goes upstairs and, like, hangs there. <laughs> That's brilliant. <laughs> Great. So I'm like, maybe there's some table. There's no tables up there. Well, I wanted to play, uh, you know, blackjack. That's your go-to? That was That was the game. So the four of us... Sat at a blackjack table. We'd have people come in and out uh, for the other seats. Uh, I know Rafe, myself, and my wife pretty much broke even exactly. You and I, Kenny Rogers, hard. Yeah. I went up big, and then I went down big pretty quick. <laughs> Tis the nature of blackjack. I'm, but I'm the one that said, let's get up. I'm like, I'm done. You did. You showed some really, uh, a lot of restraint. As soon as you got even, you're like, all right, I'm done. And then I bet $200 on one hand. And then I was also even. <laughs> I yelled at Kenny Ro I yelled at Kenny Rogers. You did. And I, it brought me back to my senses. As I was cashing my chips, I yelled, because I, I could see the tag. I go, Rafe, Rafe, Kenny Rogers. And you, okay. And you, and you folded. That was your you safe word? Good, I got man. I was no like, one hey, to man, walk away. Pull me away. Once, once I'm even. I was playing with house money for a long time. Because we were that, we sat at that table for about an hour and a half. Holy shit. Yeah, yeah, it was a good, we had a good, we had a good run. We had a good run. Your wife was up 75, and your brother in law was up uh, about 270 mil, I think. Yes. Dude, <laughs> oh. 
Your brother-in-law turned into KGB from Rounders. Wow. When we, you ever seen someone become a different person when they get to, like, a gambling table? I don't, don't you, Dude, man. it was crazy. He was like a happy-go-lucky, just like, hey, good, you're funny, you guy. Well, hell, we're just cutting it up, and he sits down, and he's like, show me your hands. Show them to me again. And he's like, all right, here's what the book says. Listen, you can't bet. So he's like, I could see like beautiful mind numbers like in his head, dude. It's like forehead got all crinkly and he was just like crunching I've told, numbers. I've told you guys about gambling with my brother-in-law. Mm -hmm. He got to witness it. Dang. Like he's no, he he walked away with like three grand. Jeez. Enough where they had to like call in when he, when he went to cash out. Yeah. Like they had to call in like a supervisor. Three grand. Holy crap. On blackjack. That's ridiculous. In an hour and a half. What's the buy-in on those on that table? Twenty-five bucks a hand. Whew. Dang. And that was minimum. Like there were no yeah, tables they weren't under five dollar tables. There was a couple fifteens, and they were just jam packed. Nobody was getting up. I guess inflation hit the poker tables. They had to raise the buy-in. They just knew it's Holiday, Thanksgiving. Holiday jacks. Man. Oh, okay. Those are Vegas prices, dude. Yeah, that's it a really Vegas is weird. Yeah, there was nothing. No, the fifteen dollars was for um, like pie the three card poker. Yeah. Black, you want to play blackjack? $25 minimum hand. And every table was full until we sat and they opened up another table. My brother-in-law in an hour and a half won three grand. Went to cash out. They had to call a supervisor in to review tape to see if he was cheating. Damn. I love that. It's a... <laughs> you can That's win, but they're like, nope. That's just the compliment at the end of the at the end of the win. Okay. Is this your gorgeous brother-in-law who was a model in his previous life? Yeah. yeah. Damn. Guy's got it going on. But she, that was crazy. Him telling stories about that. About doing shirtless bartending in the Hamptons. Mm. Oh, yeah. This guy. Wild. Yeah, he was a handsome, you know, in his 20s, you know, he was a handsome guy, full head of hair. You know, tall, you know, Russian looking. He was, you know, like muscular. So he was a male model. Like Zoolander style. And when they're not walking the runway or doing... Uh, you know, magazine spreads. Mm -hmm. The modeling agency would basically pimp the models out. Yeah. To serve food at high end parties out in the Hamptons. Wow. In Long Island. And for extra money, they would do it shirtless. Tight. <laughs> Gotta keep it tight. That's so my wife cool. and I would go and meet the model van when they would come back into town. <laughs> The model van. And it'd be like a minivan. A bunch of people with pants and bow ties, and that's it. Well, yeah. It was like one you know, gorgeous guy driving and like, you know, 15, 20 <laughs> gorgeous guys getting out. <laughs> All counting their cash, because who knows what happened at these parties. That's cool. Yeah. These were the Hamptons, baby. These were the Hamptons. Mid-90s Hamptons. <sighs> Mid, yeah, mid-late 90s Hamptons. God only knows. Shh. I said, I don't even want to know. Hey, come some on. of the names he was dropping too. Like I don't, I don't want to say on the air, but like some of the famous people whose parties he worked. I'm like, that's wild. Yeah, big names, big names, big names, big names in politics, big names in movies. Probably the biggest name in politics. I would say so. Yes, wow. one of the. So you came out of the uh, casino, and then the next morning, does your hamper smell like a, a movie from I the sixties? Took 60s? my clothes off in the in the garage. Oh, I was going to say, like, doesn't your entire, I mean, because you don't notice that until the next day and you go, oh, my God, we brought it home. Yeah. yeah we our it. house smells like, like a It was it. enough where I took my clothes off in the garage. Ugh. We call it Smoky Bitch at our house. Like, oh, I smell like Smoky Bitch. <laughs> Tim says it, too. Oh, Lord, yeah. I smell like Darlene from the VFW. But to walk <laughs> away, even after being at the table for, for an hour and a half. It's impressive. Whew, I think it might have even been a little longer than that. And it was it was enough where... It was so crowded in Ameristar. I'm not sure about Hollywood. Or any River City or any other casinos around. Yeah. Um, but we're sitting at the table. There were people behind us, like, around, waiting for somebody to get up. Free drinks? No. You, I, no, you can, no, no free drinks. Hmm. No. They, it's illegal in Missouri. Oh, what? Really? Yeah, it's not Vegas, which was very upsetting to my brother-in-law. <laughs> I had to hear about that for the next two days. Yeah. Yeah. Hack of the nut, give out free drinks. It's the law here. I three grand, bro. <laughs> Show me free drinks. It's the law. I, I don't know. Hmm. Write a congressman. That's, right now. It's just the law in Missouri. You can't give out free drinks at the casino. I, I don't make the law. Sorry, brah.
In law. In law. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, it bothered him that I would uh, double down, but wouldn't hit on a, on like a on a sixteen. I wouldn't hit on a sixteen, but I would double down on like a, you know, twelve showing or yeah. something. Yeah, uh, seven showing. Well, I'd say I, whatever bothered him should probably bother him if he got three thousand. I'm going by whatever bothers him. Oh, but he was going, you know, there was some times he'd be going 500 bucks. Tell me what bothers you, sir. But he said. (laughs) What else bothers you? The rule is either you do it every time or you never do it. Don't, like, try to gut feeling it out. 16 is a weird number. You either hit on it every time or you. But I was looking at the table, and I was looking at, like, okay, they flipped over, like, we haven't had a face card in three flips. If I hit and take the dealer's bus card, I screw the whole table. Right. So I was playing for the table, which is also not a bad strategy. And that worked. And honestly, yeah, you can't count I, it worked more than it didn't. And when I didn't hit on a 16, the dealer either busted or uh, there were a couple times there was like a 19 and I ate it. But for the most part, it worked that night. But I could tell it was he's just like, I could tell my strategy did not match up with his. And I started listening to him. I was like, hey, dude, tell me what to do, man. He's like, go with your gut. Yeah, yeah. Well, they use twelve decks, by the way. So it's not you can't you can't count cards. They're literally using twelve decks of cards. I expected your brother in law to like produce an Oreo from under the table and pull it apart like KGB and rounders, like lick the middle out, put it back together, and like pay the men. Pay this man. Pay the men this money. <laughs> oh, is that the Malkovich character? Yeah, yeah. 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 Chick, chick, chick. <laughs> he was in it to win it, dude. And he won it. Look at resolve. Was, and he did. Which was nice. Uh, Scott, did you have a nice Thanksgiving? Oh, yeah. Mine was uh, fantastic. Went down to Springfield, and the Thanksgiving day was incredible. We had great, just way too much food. Absolutely amazing. And uh, we had leftovers the rest of the weekend from that. But, uh, yeah, it was amazing. And then Friday was really fun because we went down to Arkansas and watched the Tigers play the Razorbacks. Yeah, he did. That ruled. Dang. And their stadium is oh, beautiful, yeah, right. man. So, yeah, it's you cool. sent a picture from the stadium. I didn't I didn't know yeah. you went to the game. I, I, I thought it was some high school game yeah, or whatever. No, That's yeah. What it I was the Tigers too. and uh, Razorbacks. That was a big win. Dude, it was huge. The Tigers destroyed them. But, yeah, that place, uh, we need an upper game here in Columbia because that, that stadium's So you went down to see the Razorbacks, you know, the Razorbacks-Tigers yeah. game in Arkansas. Yeah. And the, I'm sure the place was packed. It yeah, actually, it started off fairly packed, and about halfway through the game, that was one of the most empty stadiums I've ever yeah. seen. Oh we, really? Yeah, you could have moved to the front row. I think there was, except for yeah. like the band and some employees, and it was all Tiger. All the chants were Tiger stuff there. Yeah. By the end of the game, everyone to the left. That's cool. Yeah, is that Mizzou's rival? Yeah, yeah, it's their rival now, according to the. SEC. SEC. Yeah. 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 So that's that their sense. that's their like rivalry game. Yeah. You I just know, hope I, we I get think... to take their colors because their colors are so nice, man. I think the Tigers should switch it up. Yeah, I think this weekend was for, as far as college football goes, you know, the rivalry the rivalry games. Yeah. Alabama, Auburn. Yeah. yeah Michigan, Ohio State. Yep. Iowa <laughs> State. Um Do you know anybody that does like these turkey trots? Yeah. Ugh. The five K before dinner. Thought makes about me it. sick. We thought about it. <laughs> That's what Learn had after Thanksgiving was the turkey truck. Turkey truck to the bathroom. Oh. Man, to be honest, every time something makes you sick like this, you give it about four and a half years and you're doing it. So I swear, you announcing this right now that this is bothering me. Like, I'll be doing one of these Thanksgiving yeah, fun the runs. I don't be doing think so. It. I, I don't wait for that. Yeah, yeah. I don't think so happened with There's the dog. Thing is a fun yeah. I don't right. think so happened with this, with Tell that. Him, I mean, come I, on, man. No. We've got a long running tally from the last 10 years of doing this show together. Ever. <laughs> Ever getting up early ass Thanksgiving morning. Cold. 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 Although Thanksgiving was very nice weather. Yeah, it was, it was beautiful. Keep it coming. The more you talk, the more I'm convinced that you're yep. doing this crap. I, I can't think. imagine myself getting up early on Thanksgiving morning and going out to wherever these stupid <laughs> turkey trots are. Sign up at 1057 the point. Fighting Rizzuto turkey trots. Yeah. Fighting, yeah. Tra- Wait, Riz trots. fighting traffic <laughs> to run for no reason. Whatever you say, What man. if? No. It's, I'm into these trots or these runs where, like, every couple of meters or whatever, it's donut or you get a beer or hot girl winks at you, something. It's, you know, what, we could do that. the purpose of the run. Right. Like, you, you burn 600 calories, but you intake 3,000. Why are we running so early on Thanksgiving? I think a lot of people, it's 
Uh, is it a fitness thing? Yeah. I wonder if it's like, well, now I can eat whatever I want because I ran a turkey trot this morning. I assume that's it. Yeah, it gets your system and loosened up. It makes up sense already. to be like, all right, I just blew 2,000 calories on a turkey trot. Now I'm going to get... Now you're going, ready to get after it. hardcore. Family activity. They go, oh, let's go run. Yeah. While mom's getting everything ready back at home, dad takes the kids out. Oh, God, why would you do that to your kids? Right. I'm with the you. day they don't have school, they probably get school on Wednesday. Yeah. I think my wife and my dad, uh, my wife and her dad used to. Oh. <gasps> they used to do one of these. I forget which one, but it was. She's all into fitness. It doesn't make any right. sense. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense to get up early on this Thanksgiving. Makes no sense. We're supposed to be getting up, putting on sweatpants, yep. having a cup of coffee, mm -hmm. and watching the parade. And putting things in the oven. Screw and putting the, things in the oven. Screw the parade. And complaining about family. Mm -hmm. yeah, oh, the, I watched the parade. The parade is the fun. That's the funniest. I was looking for a football game, and that popped on, and I went uh, again for like the tenth year in a row. I go, oh yeah, the parade. I forgot all about it. Oh, I was it's up. It's the at, one thing I always forget happens. Me too. <laughs> I was up at 8.30. <laughs> to watch the parade? Oh, yeah. Well, that's just as absurd oh, as no, waking up not. to run. Yeah, actually, Are you kidding more to absurd. watch a bunch of lip syncing Are crap? Are you out of your mind? I didn't have to leave the house. What balloon did you love? The, them all. I loved them all. You didn't have a favorite? That's the whole point, I thought. You, oh, that's I'm always a Snoopy enthusiast. Yeah, the you Snoopy is always a parade wise. I'm always a Snoopy Snoopy guy. Snoopy. A parade? A parade. You I, seem, I sat by myself and watched it. You seem to be the most perfectly crafted person to hate parades. Love parades. That's true. But that I doesn't don't like make going any to them. sense. I'm back in Moon This up is on a this. simulation. Yeah. This makes no sense. I'm not in a real Oh, we're planet. not in reality anymore. Yeah, this is... This brings back New York I'm to I'm not sure now. I'm awake right now. Do you know why I didn't go to the you Blues You like parades? You know why I didn't go to the Blues why? Stanley Cup Parade? Why? Because I didn't want to park. But I watched it on TV. He's a TV That's parade ridiculous. guy. <laughs> but I watched it on TV and had a great time. The Macy's Day Parade. Every year you I like watch that. it. I sit by myself and watch it. Did you get your tree? We saw a single man getting a tree on yesterday when we were rolling back into Ellisville. And Tim goes, Were you on Manchester? Yeah. That wasn't me. Okay. <laughs> I'm not getting it. That was that Riz with the, the lonely guy with the tree on was top? Was he driving a, a gray Jeep? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did he look very happy? He did. Because that would be me. Yeah. No, we're not getting a tree this year because we're not going to be home for Christmas. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Like, we have a little fake tree I'll put up. And when I say I, I mean just me. Mm. Uh, but if we're home, I'll, I'll go and buy, you know, I'll go to the lot, my lot on Manchester and go to, you know, put the tree on the roof myself. <laughs> <laughs> Cry on your way home. Yeah, no, I'm not crying. Time. Oh, you're not. Okay, it's good. that most it's wonderful time of year for me. He's, yeah, he's singing. He's going the long.